Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I present to you my variable bench power supply. I've been working on this power supply for several months but uh, <clears throat> now it's functioning and I'm very proud of it and I would like to present to you a few of its um, functions what it can do, what it cannot do, maybe. Um, this is the unit as you see it live. And uh, I will quickly zoom in a little bit for a better view. On the left side here, you see two switches, which is uh, one is the main switch which is not wired in actually and uh, the top one is the live switch banana sockets uh, current limit LED and of course the potentiometers for voltage and current control let's turn it on shall we As you can see the LCD is uh, very nice and blue and I can adjust the voltage quite easily with this 10 turn potentiometer. Next we will uh, see the back side of the unit. This is how the back looks like. <clears throat> there is a quite a big radiator to keep things cool. And I try to zoom in a bit so that you can see at least one one transistor. Which is mounted on the radiator. This radiator is uh, quite big and heavy and it's not uh, mounted to the case yet so this is one thing that I will have to fix in the near future also the two um, coolers are just screwed here and uh, they need to be wired but I couldn't find an option to power them but in time hopefully in the very near future <clears throat> and next probably the most interesting part is to look inside okay so what you see now is the inside of the power supply um, my creation if I may say um, the inside of the case is um, mostly um, uh, populated or, or the space inside it's uh, uh, mostly occupied by the big uh, transformer this is a um, 24 volt uh, one, about 100 volt amp transformer um, the main PCB <clears throat> over here and all the um, all the other circuits around it um, electricity enters the circuit here then it goes to the bridge rectifier which is situated right there mounted on the heatsink um, from the bridge rectifier uh, the positive and negative side come in to these wires into the filtering capacitors and then onto the main PCB. There are three power transistors which are um, um, capable of uh, delivering uh, quite a few uh, amps you cannot see them now but all the cables which go through this hole are 
the connections for the power transistors. Um, this little step down converter is to power the LCD and um, these um, resistors are meant to share the load on the three power transistors plus there's one other power transistor <coughs> which in a TO 220 package which is mounted on a very small heatsink. The heart of everything is this op-amp right there which is an LM324N uh, quad operational amplifier. A feature of my power supply is that it um, most of it is modular. 80% about 80% is modular this means that for example um, the connecting cables are connected to the main PCB through pins and pin headers and if I am gentle enough I can remove for example this one quite easily and put it back. This was important to me because I, um, I made some mistakes with my first attempt and uh, I, I destroyed <laughs> most of the most of the PCB the, the main the main board and uh, I decided to uh, make everything uh, repairable as much as possible. Okay, um, that's about it uh, from the inside and uh, now we shall take a look at what this power supply can actually do and how it works. Um, hopefully in this, uh, in this view you can see <coughs> both the multimeter and the power supply that I set up. Uh, close to each other and first let's do a simple um, voltage measurement just plug the probes in and turn on the output and it works So uh, this this power supply can output uh, a maximum of 30 volts, which in practice is uh, 29.1. Let's set it to 10 volts. This is exactly 10 volts. Let, let's try, for example, 2 volts. This is exactly two zero, and all the way down. The current output is uh, four amps maximum. Maybe with a bigger uh, transformer and uh, other components uh, upgraded, it ca it could do even more. Here I set up <coughs> a, a dummy load um, connected directly to the power supply. Um, unfortunately the dummy load is out of view um, but um, uh, the important thing here is to see how, how the power supply reacts to certain loads or certain voltages set up. We will zoom in a little bit. As I said before, this button is to uh, put the to switch the output live on or off. 
right now I switched it off now it's switched on the dummy load is set to about uh, 1 amp of load and we can increase the voltage easily and very precisely let's try to increase the load the numbers are changing quite fast I'm curious why <clears throat> now it's settled let's go up a bit in voltage 20 volts as you see there is some variation in the current so <clears throat> this probably means that um, there is uh, <clears throat> quite a lot of noise on the output but I shall investigate that let's go down now and try to see at which voltage the power supply can't put out the specified current and it's probably at around 5 volts we are at 6 volts at 1.7 amps 5.1 and it starts to decrease at certain voltages it's quite stable um, in other cases the numbers are flickering quite a lot for example I set it to 10 volts and the output is varying <clears throat> we shall investigate that whether it's uh, the fault of the dummy load or the power supply itself and let's just quickly check out the um, current control LED it comes on right there I only had white <laughs> white color in my parts bin but that's that's visible clearly visible and it's fine <clears throat> okay what I forgot to say in the beginning is that um, I will make um, several upgrades to this uh, power supply. I will probably change the front panel also because this plastic is, is quite cheap and, and not very strong, not very robust. And for example, I'm holding these uh, dials, vernier type dials, if I said that correctly, and uh, these will be. Um, installed right there and to give it some style what I need to sort out is the um, um, the inside diameter is uh, 6 millimeters and the shaft of the potentiometer is 7 millimeters so right now it, it won't fit and I have to find a way to um, to increase the hole probably in, in, in the dial because the shaft of the potentiometer is plastic and I don't think it could tolerate um, sanding 
So very quickly and uh, very briefly, um, this would be my power supply. I hope you like it. Um, if you are interested, I can provide more details. Um, this video is actually the very first that I did and yeah, it's probably not the best because my, my voice is uh, also <laughs> not, uh, not healthy at the moment and also probably you can tell that uh, I'm quite excited to talk live. Anyway, this is the unit and uh, if you are interested in building it I can guide you through it and help in any details. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.